The owners of a Norwalk gay bar attacked in what they call a hate crime gave sworn statements today to police as the investigation into what happened continues. It came as a suspect in the assault was arraigned but not charged with a hate crime. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter has the update. The attorney for the owners of a Norwalk gay bar who were attacked by a customer outside their business last month said her clients and witnesses met with police Thursday. We believe that once all of this comes to light, it will be evident that this was a hate crime. We're all on the same page here. We all want to get to the bottom of this and make sure that all avenues are vetted. And if there's other charges, so be it. It came one day after the arrest of Carmen Parisi on two counts of third degree assault. Parisi went before a judge Thursday afternoon where the state upgraded one of those charges to second degree assault. One of the complaints, Your Honor, received over 50 stitches for the damage done. Information was revealed that he was kicked in the head while lying on the ground, Your Honor, resulting in uh, horrific injuries. Parisi's arrest followed public outcry after Troop 429 co-owner Casey Fitzpatrick posted about the attack on the bar's website this week. It happened September 23rd after Parisi was kicked out for allegedly harassing female customers. Fitzpatrick said once outside, Parisi hurled homophobic slurs at him and husband Nicholas Ruiz, then got violent. The initial post criticized the police investigation and asked for the public's help seeking justice. A social media update Thursday evening called the meeting with police very productive. Do we make some mistakes communicating? Possibly, uh, but our ultimate goal hasn't changed. We want to do a, a thorough investigation and we want to work with them and work together. The victims want nothing more than justice and are happy to assist the police in whatever way possible. In Norwalk, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Police said that there is security footage of the attack, but no audio on it. In court, the judge said Parisi's bond at $200,000.